This local sports report is presented by Lift Fitness and Performance, a proud supporter of local sports. Lift Fitness is a new high-performance facility in Guelph, located at 919 York Road. Learn more about their programs and services by visiting liftfitnessguelph.com. Championship Friday in the District 10 football playoffs. Caden Henry and the St. James Lions looking for their second title in school history. They were facing Nico Jean Gaston and John F. Ross, who are the defending D10 champions from the 2019 season. First quarter, the Lions appear to be punting it away on third down, but it's a fake. Sam Barry takes off and he picks up a first down for St. James. A huge play early. The Lions would march down the field and they score the first touchdown of the game on this play. Owen Ellis scoring on a short run. He finds the end zone. St. James taking an early 7-0 lead. Then it's the Lions defense coming through. Dylan Lytle and Blake Weiler combining for this sack. They bring down Nico Jean Gaston. The Lions now with possession and it's a terrific tackle from Darren Kuczynski. He trips up Ben Cottrell for a loss in the back field. Still in the first, it's Caden Henry handing it off to Sam Barry. He goes up the middle and rips off a big run. Barry taking the ball inside the five-yard line. St. James is on the doorstep and they complete the drive with this run from Ben Cottrell. He runs it in for a Lions touchdown. Cottrell and St. James with a 14-0 lead after the opening quarter. To the second, the Royals with the ball near midfield Dylan Lytle forcing a fumble. It's loose. Blake Weiler recovers for St. James. That duo was dynamite for the Lions on defense. Out comes the St. James offense. And how about this catch on the far side from Evan Nikola Savic? Outstanding from the Lions receiver. Still 14-0. Back to the highlights in a moment. First, a reminder. This video is presented by Lift Fitness and Performance. A proud supporter of District 10 football. Lift Fitness is located at 919 York Road in Guelph. Still in the second, the Royals trying to get something going. Nico Jean Gaston hitting LJ Brown. That's a first down for John F. Ross. They are looking to strike before the half is over. Here is Gaston moving to his right. And look out! It's a fumble! John Charbonneau grabs it. He goes the other way. And do you believe this. It's a scoop and a score for John Charbonneau. What a massive play that is for the Lions. They have a 21-0 lead at the break. Charbonneau is all smiles on the sidelines at halftime after the biggest play of his football career. Third quarter now. The Lions going to the ground game. Here goes Ben Cottrell, who had an incredible season. This kid is a superstar, and he runs the ball deep into Royals territory. Still in the third, Ross now with possession, and it's a massive run by Sam Yuting. He weaves his way through the defense, and it's the biggest play of the game for the Royals. Yuting gets the ball into the red zone, and a few plays later, this is Nico Jean Gaston on the quarterback keeper. He scores the first touchdown of the game for the Royals. They are on the board, trailing 23-7 as we move to the fourth. And how about Sam Barry? He's on the far side. He leaps and he hauls it in. Sammy B with a beauty catch. As for the Lions defense, they were excellent as well. Cam Hewitt with a tackle on this play. And as time expires, it's a water shower for Lions head coach Jeff Cummings. And he gets a huge hug from Paul Szymanski, the Lions defensive coordinator. We did it! Let's go, baby! D10! St. James celebrating at midfield after bringing home the D10 title for the second time in school history. Then it's time for the trophy.
Oh, I'm so oh. proud of every one of you guys. Yes! 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 Hey, coach deserves a first. What a day for St. James. They are the champions after a 23-7 victory over the Royals. Here is the team photo and our post-game comments begin with John Charbonneau who had that scoop and score in the second quarter. I was in the championships MVP, last year. MVP. And, um, MVP, you know what? MVP, 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 This guy right here is the MVP. Good work, buddy. MVP right here. Anyways, yeah. These guys are my family. And uh, I love these guys to death. And they love me just the same. We all contributed into this win, and I think we got our swagger back. We can't. Yeah. The most surreal moment of my whole life. All my boys out here with me, taking a big dub. This is all I waited for all season. We finally did this. All the boys together. All the boys together did this. All. This is the best day ever. This means more than anything. This means more than anything. This is all we've been waiting for all season. Get Bobo in here. This is my rec right here. Did you say Bobo? Oh man, this is my quarterback. You know, we just hustle every day. Uh, every practice, everyone shows up and we just get the work done and that's that's why we're here today. And we're gonna celebrate this because everyone on this, every, every single one on this team works as hard as they can be. And I'm proud of every single one. Yes, that's sir, right, yes, sir, that's yes, right. sir. Best QB! Yeah! <laughs> Unreal feeling, played at our own field. We're waiting for it all year and super proud of our boys and how we played today. It's a brotherhood. Like we're family. I couldn't do it like without this group of guys. Like this means so much to me emotionally and just to be able to do it with these guys. Man, it feels so great just me and all my brothers out here. All this time, 4 years in the program, especially through COVID, we just came back, led the pack and got the D10 championship. I love it. It's such a great feeling. We worked hard all season long. We pushed and pushed and pushed and never gave up, you know. And we decided to bring it home today on our home field. The emotion of the last 2 years that we we've, we've all gone through. We didn't know we were going to be playing football. We came out, we didn't have a coaching staff together, and then these guys put it together. They, they went out, Ben and Caden, got players ready to play, and we had no, re no reason but to, to be there and stand up and start coaching. So, you know, it's been such a journey, and uh, I think I'm just humbled by being part of what they did. I did we, as coaching staff, we just came along for the ride, really. Be proud of being St. James. Be proud of this place. This place is now marked on everyone's head as the program. Put in the work. Put in the work. Get rewarded. All right. That's how I go. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.